Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Jelson Martins SBC to take a look at today. Finally, it took a while for this bad boy to come out, but he's here, so I'm appreciative of some sorts. With Jelson Martins, we're taking a look at a card who is 5'8", high, high work rates, uh, right-footed, 5-star skills, 4-star weak foot. As you guys know with Jelson Martins, he was a really, really good player to have in the beginning of the year, especially for that link with Renato Sanchez. But look at what they did to this absolute bad boy, okay? Because his finishing for base card stats was really poor before, but they just absolutely juiced this card to the max. It just looks absolutely insane, right? So base card stats for pace, both at a 99, which is awesome. We're giving him the marksman cover stop because you guys know I'm a freak for dribbling, especially in this game with how the left stick dribbling works. So even though it's at a 99 for everything, I feel like they did this for me. I swear to God, because they know that I'm really like thing with the dribbling, you know, like they just put everything to a 99. Um, base card stats are passing set up really nicely for this card. 90 short passing, 81 long passing. Uh, so you don't really have to worry about the passing too much. The shooting should essentially be perfect. It should in-game. Uh, in-game player traits, he has outside foot shot traits, flare traits. He is a 5'8 player with... Let's see what his body type is. His body type is an average body type. So average body type with basically everything 99 for dribbling uh, should be very nice to work with. I do see this card mostly being played in the side positions, but we'll obviously see in game uh, because his high, high work rates could be like a Hyungman Sun high, high work rate and be really, really good. Uh, defending doesn't have defensive stats, but he does have the high, high work rate to work with the 99 stamina. Marksman will be boosting his strength by a plus 10 while also having 88 aggression. So... I mean, to be fair, this card looks freaking wild. The high, high work rates, I do want to see what that's going to play like in-game. We are also going to be doing uh, a review for the Fabregas card. So the way that we are going to be lined up for this review is going to look like this. So we're going to have Jelson Martins up top. Um, Hakimi has to play as a fullback. Uh, I'll keep Hakimi there. Oh, no, it, just, it hurts me a little bit. Let me just put this giglio there. The, sorry, just, it hurt me just a little bit right there. <laughs> okay, so this guy, we're going to have stay back. You're the balance. You're on comeback. Stay back, stay back. And then Seska is going to be on balance too. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we'll try him out in game. Hopefully, he's a beast. Uh, regardless if he's a beast or not, sentimental value FC for me. But he looks pretty good. So let's see how he plays in game. This is Neymar. Di Maria. Now Neymar. That's funny, he's actually rotated to the side position, rotating with the other players. Because they're on free roam, so like, again, I wouldn't mind if he actually did that, because he is a uh, type of player that I would actually use in the side positions. Oh, no way! Oh, come on, EA, why you do this push touch? Let's go near post there. There we go. We'll take it. We will take it. Beauty with my boy Jelson. Bro, his dynamic picture is crazy. I love it. Oh, no. Dang it. Might really be able to trouble them here. Oh my goodness, I have to work like those small little angles to try to score as much as I can there. Couldn't get that little angle there. Let's see if I can get something going on over here though. Oh, maybe! Get the shot off? Oh. I shouldn't have taken a touch there. From the skill move, I should have just shot it right away. Give me that near post. Let's go, Jelson. You beautiful, beautiful man. Oh my god, that clearance by Spinazzola. <laughs> The finesse shot was going to go in, though, so that's good, at least. He read it well defensively. Can they create 
something from here. Still could put it away. Is it going to be? Dude. It's so funny that even when the dude's not playing, his defender is on me like glue. Like, I have to get a shot cancel angle just to be able to score that opportunity. That's funny. I think he was literally just holding R1. <laughs> hey, man. You want to give me that goal? I'll take it. I'll take it every single day of the week, you know? No, I shouldn't have. I had to do the ball roll, but I had to get that quick left stick touch afterwards. And I could not get it, man. Dang it. Almost, man. Almost. Well done. You actually get into position pretty quickly there. As soon as you've got that, you start looking behind. Chance to put them in front. Well, they like to run at them. Are they weak foot? Ooh. That was great. I didn't even actually do a finesse shot right there. That was just a regular power strike. That was a beauty. Um, so what I'm talking, what I'm going to say right now, guys, and this is hilarious because this is the mechanics of this year's game. And I know that the devs are watching this because you guys don't mean that 99, okay? Is that his dribbling, because of his body type, you don't use players like this through the middle, in my opinion. You definitely use them through the sides. Uh, so if I were to play on my team, he'd probably be in the 4-2-3-1 uh, ram position, right mid position. Um, if I was playing him in a 4-1-2-2, and in two, and the center mid area is my more attacking-oriented midfielder, it'd be pretty dope too. too. From there. Oh... I like it. I like it. Good finish. Doesn't hit it directly at the goalkeeper. I will take it. Why? Because of base card stats, man. Uh, trust me, I've used Jelson so much this year. Like, that rare gold was my center mid for so long, dude. <laughs> he oh, no! Oh, there's no chance I just hit the crossbar right there. No way. I honestly thought I tapped that shot button, like, perfectly. Weak foot again? Okay. Okay, that one I actually did go for a finesse shot, so... Thank you for not missing. <laughs> it's funny because technically, like, when you use them as a center mid, it's technically through the middle, but... Because it's like a cover wing or cover center instruction, they're still kind of in those side positions, especially when they attack, you know? Oh, just, hey, you know what's cool, man, is that, like, I'm doing regular power strikes, but he has like, he has like animation choices for each one. If it makes sense in that situation, does that like you guys get what I'm saying? Like I don't have to hit a consistent finesse shot for him to do that sort of animation, which is really cool, man. His finishing is coming off great because sometimes, man, they're super, super random, you know. Little run right here too. I think you get a touch off here. Yeah, so I try to get a little bit of left stick, but it's kind of tough sometimes. Yeah, that one I just wanted to try a shot across goal. It's like a pretty low percent strike there, but I like to try those. Ooh, a little defensive play. I like it, I like it. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Crossing possibilities. Jelson Martins. Here's Fabregas. Martins. Jeez. Give me that power strike, Jelson. My boy. See, it's funny because he's playing striker, but like every time he's being used in the right side, like because of the free roam of Mbappe and Di Maria kind of moving into the middle and stuff. Um... 
it's great, man. Like, it, like I said, guys, this is definitely the type of card you use in the side positions, 100%. There we go. His shooting is really nice, man. So, again, the most noticeable thing with Jelson's card is that the way that he dribbles, because of the average body type, you do notice it 100%. Uh, and it's really sad to say this because his stats are literally all 99 EA, but uh, it is a noticeable thing for this card. Again, you could pretty much use him in the middle if you really want to, no problem, but for me, it's a, it's a card used in the side position. So, if I were to use him as a center mid with those attacking capabilities with high, high work rates as my more attacking oriented midfielder. Awesome. Love it. Um, right mid in a 4-4-2, Ram in a 4-2-3-1. Like, he's going into Ram if I unlock him on my main team, like, immediately. Oh, and I would have scored that too. So yeah, that was a really good situation to show you guys like the left stick dribbling. Like you can see that like sway to him when he's uh moving left and right. But like I said, guys, with an average body type, you're using a car like that in the side positions, perfectly fine. Yeah, it adapts really quickly too. It's his body type that restricts him from doing it like super fast though. You see? Are they weak foot? Really close? Oh, hello. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> okay. Oh, and I had it. I had it there. That would have been so sick. I was, I was so close too, man. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Jelson Martins card. So in regards to how he performs in game, guys, you do want to give him the marksman chemistry style to improve his dribbling as much as possible. <laughs> um, listen. Even though he has 99 dribbling in every single stat, because of the average body type with Jelson Martins, you do notice that in-game, right? So with the average body type, nowadays it's not necessarily as bad of a thing, right? Because if you guys take a look at this card, which I actually, I don't think I ever ended up reviewing, but I tried them out sometimes on someone's account, I forgot who it was. But this card with the average body type in the side position is perfectly fine, right? You just don't really want to have that through the middle because you need really, really responsive dribbling through the middle, I think. In the side positions, it'll be perfectly fine because it'll actually work with his physical stats a little bit because of the fact that his aggression's at an 88. Um, you know, he has really, really good pace to work with, right? So it accommodates really well. So with a card like this, I was never going to use him through the middle anyways. It's 100% the type of card that you want to use in the side positions more than you want to use in the middle. You definitely can use him in the middle. He'll be decent at it, but he's just more ideal in those side areas, right? So for me personally, Ram area will be amazing, especially with the instructions I showed you guys in that 4-2-3-1 video. Would be pretty awesome, right? Shooting on this card is really good, man. With his weak foot, with his strong foot, he hits them really well. Uh, I even tried some lower percentage strikes, and he had like different animations to consistently score those opportunities, which is really cool. And that is because of the base card stats being as high as it is. Uh, with Jelson Martins right now, let's see how much he costs as an SBC. 149k is this like a 300k card okay so what i will say right is that even with this card being absolutely boosted like crazy and this is the card that i always compare to nowadays because he's so freaking good uh he's not as good as someone like dibala right like dibala's card is absolutely insane and the reason why he's insane is because of the high medium work rate so it kind of allows you to use him in different positions constantly it's like consistent um and because of the fact that he has that unique body type with the dribbling stats that he has. So his left stick dribbling, the way his skill moves come off, is way quicker, right? Like the skill moves with Jelson Martins, you can tell there's an average body type behind it. Uh, am I super excited about this SPC? Absolutely, because it is 100% the type of card that can play in the meta really, really well because of the stats that they've actually given him. So really, really happy about that because he clearly never got a card this year. So I was literally waiting until for this, but... You guys know the vibes. It's still a good SBC. 
It's just not someone like Dybala, right? So if you're expecting someone crazy like that, he's definitely not crazy like that. But still really, really awesome for what it is. I really like that they made him a striker. I really, really like that because it allows you to use him in so many different positions for those chemistry links, especially if I want to just get that one link with like Nani in the left wing and then I have like Jelson Martins linked with Renato Sanchez. Oh, there's so much. Even a 4-5-1 Renato Sanchez cam uh, Jelson up top, easy links, man. So uh, really, really cool that they changed his position. I think that was a really, really big deal. So it's a great SBC in my opinion. I think he's pretty awesome. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.